is in this video, we are going to see our first Excel. Just nothing by displaying the uh, date format. So first I'll explain this program and then I'll explain the different types of date formats. So here, if you see this, uh, we have given the title program to display date, month, and year, etc. Then we are given in H1 program, to, so it will appear in a picket format, picket form. Program to display date, month, and year. Now the actual PHP coding starts where what we are doing is today date is with that we give it in H2 within echo. So you can embed HTML within PHP. That's what we are doing. In HTML, we have embedded PHP and within PHP also we have embedded the HTML. So then concatenation operator, which is nothing but dot, then we use the date function. So this is a built-in function giving different arguments the output will be in a different format so here what we have given is l f t comma y i'll explain the meaning of this this is l so when i give l what happened here as today's date is will be displayed in h2 okay this is what then l l is meant for displaying the uh, weekday in full form Saturday, Friday, Monday, like that. So if you give L, it will display the week of the day in full uh, with full spelling. Then F. When I give capital F, it display the name of the month in full, with full spelling. So January, February, like that. Full spelling will be displayed there. Then D. It will display the date. Okay, and then Y. It will display when I give capital Y, it will display the four letter, four decimal places uh, of the year. So 2013. If I give small y, only 13 will be displayed. Since I have given capital Y, it displays the full of the year, the full year um, thing. Then we'll see another format. Another format of date is here. Inside itself is given month day and year. If I want to display it in this form, then I have to give the argument like this. The same date function m dy. If I want it to be date, that is day, month, then I just I have to give it here d and m. So if you see that, see here, another format of date. 0, 1, which is nothing but January, month. Because in the same day I have printed this, so it comes January 1, 12 and 13. Then uh, this is in color. Which color I want? So this is in color. The, still that we have used a post statement of PHP. Then we have closed the PHP and started a HTML. From HTML, we have taken the color coding. So font, in order to print it in color, we can use uh, and a uh, different font. We can go for font uh, tag. So font face equal to Arial. So Arial uh, selected the Arial font. And then color, yes, this is responsible for this pink color. So we are, you can give color code, you can select uh, from the internet, you can check the color code and you can give it here or you can directly type this red, green like that. Uh, this will give you more combinations. Hex code will give you more combinations. This you can find it in internet by giving typing color codes. Then uh, I want this to be uh, more uh, bold. So for that, you can give strong. Okay. After giving strong, I want to echo the statement. This, this uh, date has to be displayed on the same browser next to this color. So in that case, again, we go for PHP coding. So here we have closed the PHP coding. Again, we have opened the HTML. Within that, again, we have started the PHP. Then print, we have given the print statement. Then date, this is to show you, you can use echo as well as print. So uh, date, and then we have given that. Uh, format. So now you can see it is printing in the color and uh, the specified in this and this font and we are printing it here and then close it. Close the strong. Here open the strong and close it and then font also we are closing then close the body and HTML. So when you execute this you will get the output like this. So that's what. See here this is the output today. Now I have executed and showing the February 7 and strong. The, this is the coding. Now, uh, what are the different uh, formats, date formats available? Now we'll see that. So here, uh, small d 
it display if you give small d then day after month that is two digits with leading zero zero one to thirty one so what we have given here in this program we have given small d so it is a two digit it displays in a two digit okay so zero one to thirty one so if i say uh, say for example seventh is the today day here see it has substituted zero instead of the seven it has substituted zero so it displays in terms of two digits but if you want to suppress that that also can be done with another format but if you use d it will print zero one to thirty one then capital d it's it says oh, only three letters that is monday through sunday m o n s u n s a t like that with three letters it will print the day of the week okay then j if you give j day of the month without leading zeros if i want to suppress the zero one say for example i have given here j small j instead of uh, day now i am i want to give i want to suppress the zero now what will happen we'll see see here it is not displaying zero like that you can change the format and then small l lower case l, that's what we have seen it prints the whole thing sunday to saturday whereas small capital d will give only the first three letters and the first character will be in capital here also the first character is in the capital letters then uh, this is uh, capital n one for monday it will print in numerical value instead of uh, uh, monday tuesday thursday it will print one for monday two for tuesday and so on then capital s it print suffix third fourth fifth like that if i want i can add this suffix so seventh like that it will print we'll check whether it is printing yes now we'll see how it prints see seventh when i add s capital s i just added the capital s here so you can beautify your output like this with that so this is responsible for adding 7th or 12th uh, then third means rd will be added and so on then small w again here it prints zero for sunday it starts here it is from one monday and so on but here from zero sunday one for monday and through that to zero to six that is a small z it is zero through three to say it will print the day of the year so for example if i give uh, how many days have been elapsed in this uh, now i just give small z as the last document we'll see how it works how many days have been elapsed from january 1 37 days okay today is february 7th from january 1 to till that 37 days so that's what it's showing count the number of days so 365 days 0 to 365 days so then uh, for week w capital u it gives the uh, what is the week today uh, how, how many weeks has been elapsed so now let me give w we'll see how it works see here fifth week uh, from january okay four weeks has gone now it is the fifth week So that's what it is displaying. Then F, these are all for month. Capital F is January through December, full spelling. That's what we have seen in the program also. And small f, it is for representing the month in terms of numerical value. So 0, 01 is for January, 0, 02 is for February, and so on. Then capital M, Jan through this with three letters, Jan, Feb, like that. Then small n is, it is uh, 0 is suppressed. Okay, so 1 through 12. Then T is number of days in the given month. How many days that we will see? Um, I'll give it as a last document. T. Now we'll see how it takes you. This month it is 28 days. See? Yes. Okay. Then uh, year. These are all arguments for year. Capital L is for L if it is a leap year or zero otherwise. Small O, it will display like this. Uh, okay. Um, then similar to capital Y. 
because it displays all the four uh, decimal places. In small way, it, it, it displays only the last two digits, two digit representation. Then time. So all these things are AM, PM. So we can say AM, a small a is uh, represents AM. When it's capital, it prints in capital letter. Now I just give it as, uh, I just give it small a. We'll see what it is. It is PM, right? So you can display the time also. So if I want the time, see here, you can print it in a 12 hour format or uh, 24 hours, then H again. Okay. It is suppressed to zero here with the zero, okay? 12 hour format, again here also. Here it is suppressed zero, it is zeros. Then I minutes and then yes, uh, seconds. Now I'll show you this. If we remove this time, you see to go. Now the time is again. I have to use only the date format. Okay, date. Oh, I give. So what is the one responsible for printing the hours? You can either go for this 12 hours format. Let me go for 12 hour format. G and A. So how to do it in quotes? G and A. Um, Okay, give a beer or else it will print at the same way. Now we'll see the output. See here, 5 pm. Uh, so all these things, you can use this date function, uh, uh, this char characters, format characters for formatting your output. Okay, this is in minutes, and this is in seconds, etc. Um, and then time zone. Based on the time zone, you can print. And then full date and time, if I want it. So if you give C, the whole, along with the date, everything will be printed. Now I'll show you only this. So let me show this. See what it is printing. See here, 21, 2, 7. 7 is the today date, two, and time. It has given the time. Uh, time is given in ISO. Okay, uh, standard time. So uh, that's all with the format. So you can use all this thing in your program. Uh, uh, how you want the date or other thing, time, etc. wants to be printed. So you can use this format character in your date, date function like this. And this is what our first program. And this is what our first program.